Welcome, gamers and collectors. That's all inclusive, right? That'll do. Right, so, pickups video. Um, we have got some more content coming, because I want to do some more videos. Now, I'm getting back, back into the feel of making videos. But yeah, we'll start with some pickups again. Yes, um, we've got some game collection. My first ever game collection purchase and experience with that. We've got Switch, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, uh, PS4, and a little oddity to go as well, and some more 360 for that full set, and some information on the game pre-owned situation that's going on. So let's get straight into it. So first off, just before, or was it just after Christmas, I think it was like a Christmas Eve, um, special they did on the game collection. There was like an extra, I can't remember what it was now, five or fifteen something percent off the bulk order or, or order. So I found a few bits that I wanted, and then obviously got that extra discount on top. And yeah, got some good deals and prices on these as well. So first up, got one for the missus. In fact, it must have just been before Christmas, or did I get this after Christmas? See, I'm already forgetting. Uh, but this was a Christmas present for the missus, and that's Mario Brothers um, Wonder. She loves her Mario games. So we got her that nice artwork inside. She's playing it, so the cart is in there. And we've got a free gift with it as well. It's a nice little sticker sheet that came free with that. So that's a little bonus for her. So let's put them, let's try and do a, a David Burstall special and put them on here. I can't really have them standing. I don't I think there's too many. But yeah, Mario wonder for it. She's been playing it. She's really enjoying it. And she just say, Eddie, she loves the elephant. <laughs> you don't like it, mate, but she loves the elephant. So each to their own, I guess. I've not played it yet. Yeah, so more on, uh, on the game collection. This I couldn't find anywhere. I couldn't find it in CX. Couldn't find it. Game don't seem to sell this anymore. I don't know what it is. Couldn't find it anywhere. Found it on the game collection. So I picked it up for the PS5. It's the Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. So obviously it comes with the DLC featuring Yuffie, which I've not played yet. I'm actually playing through that at the minute before getting back into uh, the main game again. Try and get that finished before. The next part comes out, which I've got a nice collector's edition on pre-order, which there'll be a, a video for that when it comes, and we'll get onto that. So yes, Final Fantasy Integrate. Really enjoying it, again. And then a load of Xbox One titles. I did try and find some more PS4 and PS5 titles that I wanted, but for some reason there was, there was an issue with the website, and I was really struggling to scroll through the games on the other consoles, for whatever reason, <laughs> Xbox seemed fine, so I had a good browser, managed to get a few. Um, next one, Fade Silence. Oh, we've got some glare, let's hold it this side and block that bit of glare there. I've also forgot to start my video in the back, which I was going to do, um, just to have something going on in the back. It's, I didn't know what to have on, so you've got an old, or my very old, room tour. Had, yeah, I need to work out what I'm going to have it in my background on my videos. But yeah, Fate of Silence. Not played it yet. Seems interesting. Uh, we'll give that a go. Not worth opening and looking on the side. But yeah, looks all right. Takes place in a frozen, apocalyptic world. And obviously she's not going to shut up through the whole video because she likes to talk when I'm talking. Next one, the final one we needed in the Dark Pictures Anthology. The House, House of Ashes. Uh, I've done the Man of Medan. I've started Little Hope. And now I think this is the next one, House of Ashes. And then the Devil in Me, which I've already got, is the last one, I believe. So we can get through these this year. Nice kind of storytelling game. Make your own adventure. So we'll get on that. Everyone has a different opinion on which their favourites are. So once I've played them all, I'll be able to give my opinion on that as well. Next up, uh, this was really cheap, I can't remember, it's like a couple of quid. Uh, so, foreclosed. Yeah, again, no nothing about it, just picked it up on a whim, it was cheap, so I thought I'd add it in. It looks very kind of cell shading. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just, if you've played it, 
let me know. Any good? Can't really say much more on that one, I'm afraid. But yeah, that's on the list to play, as is this one. The same, again, this was only a couple of quid, so I just thought I'd pick it up and give it a go. It's a Series X game. Dolman, the day one edition. So this came with some DLC, uh, armor set, and a sword and axe for, you, for your character. Other than that, again, don't know much about it. Just picked it up to give it a go, see what it, see what it was like. Timeline erased. Yeah, it looks interesting. Some decent screenshots and stuff on the back. Again, if you've played it, let me know. I'll bump it up. The backlog to playlist, and we'll get through it. Hopefully by the end of the year, we'll see how we get on with that. Then one which was on Game Pass. Now, I don't know. It might still be on Game Pass, or it's left. Either way, it was really cheap, so I thought I'd pick it up to have a physical anyway. Because I'm looking at kind of stopping my Game Pass um, once my points run out just so I can concentrate on my physical games that I've got and just want to get through them. Because once I've got Game Pass, all I want to do is kind of play Game Pass because I've got it. So if I purposely stop it, I can actually get through some of my games and this was on there. So you like I say, nice cheap, Gungrave Gore, day one edition, which came with some DLC, which you can see there, a couple of outfits. So yeah, I've not played it before. I've not played the previous in the, um, in the series that was on the PS2 or anything, it just likes an all out blasting up camera, massive guns, shooting stuff, blasting stuff, just a stylish bit of fun game. So we'll give that a go. Now we have that. And the last one we got from the game collection, one that I've been after for ages, keep trying to find it pre owned. Um, the price kept fluctuating, it went in Black Friday. I think it was 20 quid a game and whatever. I nearly picked it up then, but I found it really cheap on Game Collection. I think it was less than a tenner. And that's Scars Above. I think it was Ross at Baja that first brought the attention to this game to me. It's kind of a survival horror game. Um, yeah, it just looks interesting, it sounded interesting. So I've been waiting to play that. So that's further up the list to play. We'll get in on that in the next few months and uh, we'll give that a go and let you know how we get on with that one. So overall, really good experience for that. I've earned lots of points that I can use to get more money off the next one. So yeah, we're gonna be looking at going on there again and making another order and getting some more bits. So I recommend checking out the game collection. I've got some decent bits on there. So the next one, the last yesterday, in fact, I picked these up, I went to left for work early so I can browse my local stores and see what was going on because I've not been hunting or anything for ages. I just had that itch to go and after hearing the news that game was stopping their pre-owned range, they're not taking in pre-owned stuff anymore, I thought I'd go see what my local has. Um, it's not been there long and they didn't have a massive section anyway so I thought I'd check out what they've got, see if there's anything worth picking me up before they get rid. And when I was browsing the stuff, I was the only person in the store. Uh, there was two members of staff on and they were having a chat amongst themselves while I was browsing and they seemed to be gamers, which is quite unique to be in a game store anyway. Um, but I got talking to them as they were finding the discs and stuff for me and just asking them what was kind of happening, like are they, is the 3 for 2 staying, are they going to be selling them off cheap? And it turns out what they're actually doing is what I was... What was, we were first led to believe is game were just stopping pre-owned stuff and then obviously selling the rest in stores when it was gone, it was gone. That was it. However, what I got from the uh, people working from there was that all the game stores that are in a Sports Direct, which is a lot of them, most of them, all their pre-owned stock is going. On the day that they stop taking in pre-owned stock, they're shipping out their pre owned stock. They're stopping it completely. It's being taken out of stores and going into all the standalone stores on the high street. So, standalone game stores on the high street, they're getting all the stock from the Sports Direct stores and they'll be selling the stock until it's gone and finished. Now, my local standalone game store is miles away. Like, yeah, it's going to be harder to get to my three or four, maybe even five local games that I have, the nearest ones are all in Sports Direct. So all their pre stock, all my chances of getting three for twos will be gone 
when February hits and it is it 16th I think that's up in pre-owned yeah all that stock is going out so if your local game is in a sports direct get down there quick if you want to make most of the free for two get what you can because it will be gone it will be going to mainline game stores if your local game is a high street store look at you they might or well, should get an influx of stock from the other stores so it'll be benefiting you you'll be able to get some more if you can get to one of them stores it might be worth also making a little trip down and seeing what they get i might look at making a trip to that store and seeing if we can get some more stuff but yeah i might do a little video a little hunt around my local games in the sports directs and seeing what i can grab before the, the stock goes that might be interesting and see how much stuff i can get from each one before it all goes but anyway <clears throat> moving on back to the pickups just a little bit of information for people who, who aren't aware or don't know that i only found this out yesterday so the three for twos the first three for two i got obviously three games they were 19.99 each so 20 quid each 40 quid three games one free um, the first one, I actually, I was going to wait until a complete edition came out. Um, however, seeing this in the free for two, I thought I'd pick it up now because I couldn't find another 20 quid game that I wanted. And I wanted three 20 quid games. Um, Horizon Forbidden West. Been waiting to play this. Love the first one. So can't wait to get into it. Um, it will be further up my list now. Most of the stuff on the PS5 that I've got, I've already finished and completed. There's only the Final Fantasy this and the other game that I've got that I've not finished now on my PS5 so yeah really enjoying the PS5 getting through the game so can't wait to get into this and play it just interested to see what what's new nice artwork inside so we'll show you that it's got a, a lay of the land I guess and the map of it all installed and ready to go so yeah more Aloy monster dinosaur robot hunting action and then this one so it was Gordon at Gib84 who brought this to my attention. Uh, at first, I, I think he said he, he couldn't, he didn't understand the game, he couldn't really get into it. But then once he did, he really got into it. So it's a really good game. So I've been looking out for it, and when I seen it was in the three for two for the same price as the others, I thought yeah, I love that as well. Get it in the three for two, and that is Returnal on the PS5. So I've just literally installed it and played the kind of tutorial bit if you like into up until the first death and it's kind of a, it's a third person shooter roguelike game so you set you crash land on a <clears throat> an alien planet uh, you find some bodies which turn out to be yourself and as well as some video logs of your future self or past self um, recording events that have happened but this is happening for you for the first time up until the point you die and then you experience the game again and again so a roguelike and the more you play through the game the more you upgrade the, I guess the further you can go uh, graphically looks pretty nice it seems really interesting story seems interesting so yeah get this on the list this I'll be playing through as well as others I like to have a couple of games on at a go so yeah I'll be playing this I enjoyed what I played of it so far so glad you're pointing that out to me Gordon we'll be getting on that and the last one in the 20 we wore the t-shirt just be just because it's been so long we played a Crash Bandicoot game. Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. And it is about time I picked up the game. So yeah, we'll give it a go. I've not actually heard much about it, or people talk about it, so I don't know how it plays. Obviously it's Crash, platforming game. Uh, I do enjoy the Crash games. I am actually playing through the Insane Trilogy. I dip in and out of it now and then. It's on my, my poster to play, so we'll go through all three games. I think I've very close to finishing the first one. The second one I've finished before on the PS1. The third one I've never played, so interested to get into that. But yeah, that's again, fourth one, never played it. Don't know much about it. So just thought I'd add it into the, the three for two. Technically it was free. So uh, we'll give it a go and see what it's like. The missus also really likes Crash, so we'll play that. It does say it's co-op on the back as well, so I guess you play as Crash and Coco. So we'll, we'll give that a blast together and see how it goes. Then the other three for two we got, a slightly cheaper one. These are all five quid, four ninety nine. Um, again, like I said, might be ending my Game Pass. So one game I wanted that I've been playing on Game Pass, um, Gears Tactics. It went really cheap. So thought I may as well just pick it up now. It does come with a bonus flashbulb crawl uh, character pack, which I've already got. I got it through Game Pass. So it's already downloaded. But yeah, different style of Gears game. Like I said, Gears Tactics. It's a tactics game. It plays really well. 
I'm really getting into it. The story's pretty cool. Some new characters. Obviously, you play as new characters, and you, you are fighting different characters that you've not played in the main series games. And yeah, you build your, your squad, and then it's a tactical game of moving around the scenery, flanking, outflanking your enemies, taking them down with your various weapons, gear style, and yeah, destroying the horde. Pretty decent for a tactics game. I, I enjoyed it, so yeah. Don't mind that. And one, again, I know nothing about. I've just seen it there for a fiver, so technically free. It looked interesting. It's something that I think my missus might enjoy as well, so she'll play. Um, yesterday, Origins. Don't really know much about it. I'll just read in the back. It looks like it might play like a, a point-and-click adventure. So, Marcus, if you're, if you're watching, maybe one for you to check out or do some research on, see if it is. But yeah, from the back, who says immor immortality was eternal? My name is John Yesterday, yours too. You've been alive for over 500 years. Yeah, in 1501. Uh, you underwent an alchem alchemical ritual making you immortal. Whenever you die, you come back to life, ages you were, and when you first died, however, you lose your memory. Okay, so, I don't know, maybe a bit rude-like as well, but it does look more kind of point and clicking. Nothing there to give you any, inf any more information, but yeah, it looks interesting. It says it a bit puzzle game, original storyline with intricate puzzles await you in an adventure game. So, yeah, we'll give it a go, see what it's like, and add it to the backlist backlog. And the last one we got on that three for two was one, it's on the PS4 because I think this is the only way you can get it physical. I was playing it on Game Pass on the Xbox. One, obviously, really enjoying it, and then it got taken off Game Pass. Um, and I've seen this a couple of times, so I thought, while it's in the 3 for 2, only for a fiver, I'm going to pick it up. Pick it up for PS4, play, and start and play through it again, and that's Void Bastards. It's great. I loved it. It's a first-person, I suppose, kind of roguelike adventure where you're going through various... You're in space, you go through various ships, uh, looting the ships, finding items and things to upgrade yourself each time you die you respawn as a different character and you have different strengths and weaknesses and you go through this the star chart we can just about see on the back um mapping your way through the through space picking which ships you want to go to evading aliens and hostiles and all that kind of stuff and yeah it was just really enjoyable so I'm going to start that again on the PS4 and really get into it and try and finish it. It says it should come with some DLC, however that is a code and obviously being from game everything's been chucked so might have to look out for one just to make that complete. Uh, but yeah we didn't get that but happy to get that in the collection and hopefully play it again. So <clears throat> from there nipped into town, in fact, no we'll do the oddity less, I did pick up one more thing but we'll do that last. So nipped into town browsing other stores, the charity shops and stuff, and I actually found one game in the charity shop which I needed. And this charity shop normally does have some games in, but for ages they've not had anything. And I went inside, towards about, obviously near where the DVDs are, and on a separate shelf, they had loads of games. Um, unfortunately, most of them I'd got. They had PS2, 3, I think some PS4, a lot of 360, and a couple of Xbox One games. But I did find one 360 game I needed, only for a pound, so I'd pick it up, and that's Top Spin 3. Tennis game, not really my thing, but for a pound from charity shop. One more to the collection. Yeah, pick that up, give it a go. It's one more on the list. And I think I now have two, three, and four, so I have, I think, all of the top spin games now. So I did that. Then we went into the CEX. And we'll start with the cheapest first. So I found three more games in the, my local CEX. Uh, for the 360 for that set, so I added a nice four titles to that set. Um, this one I don't really come across, even though it's a really cheap title. £1.50, Blaz Blue, Continuum Shift. Uh, fighting game, I believe, I think it's just a one-on-one -on -one fighter. And I multiplayer two to six, maybe there's some kind of different mode. But yeah, plays one to six, uh, one to two, sorry. Yeah, I know there's a few Blast Blue games on the 360, I think three, maybe four. Um, that's my actual first Blast Blue game. Um, I know there's some kind of boxed versions as well, little collects editions. Uh, but yeah, first one added <clears throat> onto that set. 
And this one, this one's eluded me for a while. There's two, I think, versions of this. The one I've already got is the red case one. I'm guessing the different games, although the title's very similar. Uh, this is the kind of greeny case variant, if you like. So I don't know if it's a variant or a different game. I think it is a different game. They do have different lists. Divinity 2, Ego Draconis, uh, £3. So like I say, there is another Divinity 2 game. I can't remember what the, the subtitle is. It might be the same or slightly different, but that case is red and has different things on. Yeah, it's hard to explain. But yeah, nice thick chunky manual in this one as well. You can feel it as soon as you pick the case up. Obviously RPG, um, third person RPG. I don't think it's first person as well. You know, like Elder Scrolls, you can switch between the two. I think this is just third person. Uh, obviously it has a lot to do with dragons. Unleash the dragon within. Uh, I've not really played the other one, so I don't know too much about it. But we'll give it a go at some point. I've got lots of RPGs to get through. And the last one we got from there, one I don't see around very often. It's normally the, the standard version, but they had this version, so I thought I'd get it. it feel, you know when you just pick up a case and it just feels new, it feels nice. That was this. So for while it's in this condition, and it was only eight quid to be fair. I didn't think it was too bad. I thought I'd pick it up. Dark Souls, the Prepare to Die edition. I believe this is separate to the the standard Dark Souls, it counts as a different game. Uh, either way, I love the series, so I don't mind having this as well. It does say it has a lot of extra stuff on there. So the darkness continues with all new content, new areas to explore, new enemies to kill. She's loving it. Uh, new weaponry to survive, a new PvP, PvP matchmaking system. Matchmaking system. So, yeah, we've got the, the proper disc and manual in there as well for it. So when I actually get around to finishing Dark Souls, the first one, because I've not done the first one, only the second one, I'll get that finished and then we'll play this and see how much she's actually different. I'm guessing it has a different achievement list. I'm not sure. I looked on TA and I couldn't really find one, so I don't really know what I was looking for. Maybe it does share the same list, I'm not sure. But I'm counting it as a separate game and we'll add that in there. And that is all the games I have to show on this uh, brief pickups video. The only other thing I did get from game when I was there, I asked them because on the counter they got all of Pokemon cards and that kind of stuff. And last time I went in I did ask if they had the, the Final Fantasy trading cards which I showed and they do still have them, they just don't have them on display, they keep them in the back. Which is good because I know they've got them, other people don't so I could just keep going in and getting them. Um, they said yeah yeah we've got some. I was like oh cool if you got the box and the, the just a standalone Packs. It's like, yeah, we've got both. They've actually all just gone down in price again. I'm like, wicked. How much? How much are they now? He's like, oh, the big box has gone down twenty pounds. So it was originally B. It was originally sixty. Then it went down to. Oh no, it was. I think it was eighty or ninety. Then it went down to sixty when I seen it, and it's gone down again another twenty quid. So forty quid, and I had ten pound, I think, on my game card. So I cut it for thirty. So it works out at less than two pound, well it was two pound a pack and then obviously I got the extra tenner off. So yeah, this big box does contain 20 packs of cards. It is still sealed. Uh, I do like having the, the nice the box, display box for it. So what I'm gonna do is open this in a separate video for those that are interested. We'll open it, crack all the packs open and you can see some of the art cards and the nice art that's in this box in a separate video for those that are interested, because not everybody will be. But yeah, the ones I've had so far, I've had some really nice art in. So looking forward to getting this open in and sharing it with you guys, what we've got. Any duplicates I'll put to the side, and then, I don't know, we'll decide what we want to do with them. But yeah, if you're interested in getting some of these as well, and you go to your local game and you can't see them, always ask behind the camera, because they don't tend to have them on display for whatever reason. Just ask them, and they've probably got them in the back. So you can buy the box like this, which again has gone down really cheap well worth getting the box if you're interested in getting a few packs or they normally have single packs as well which were two or three quid but they've again probably gone down but yeah we'll leave that there so hope you've enjoyed guys like I'm saying i'm trying to get some more content out for you and of course it's gonna cut off right as i'm about to end the video so we will leave it there we'll see you next time thanks for watching and bye for now